Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TTNP. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute? If you are new to charts, I do offer a explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. I did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where this green line annotation here is coming from. And that's also where the first update needs to come about, and that update is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So on any sort of movement back to the upside, 20 and a half cents is gonna be that first key level to watch. I will say though that from a presentation standpoint, this chart is actually pretty tricky to talk about right now because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you wanna call yourself, and you bought there, maybe you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within 20 minutes, well then yeah, from that point of view, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, I get it. The price did pull back from its highs, but from that point of view, the price does still have plenty of opportunity to chip away and build a higher base. And as long as you have higher bases being built over extended periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I am gonna be talking about things from a bigger picture point of view. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you probably had more of a day trader type mentality going into it. And the reason why I still call everything perfectly bullish, and just to illustrate this, and I'm not saying that the price is gonna go down here, but like I said, to illustrate this point even better, Let's say that the price actually drops down to 18 and a half cents. So price comes down here, behaves in that manner, and then begins to work its way back upwards. What would you still have from the big picture point of view? So emphasis on big picture. Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have lows right there. You'd have these lows even lower. And if you envision each of those as stair steps, what do you have? Well, you would very clearly have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what truly strong moves do over time. They make progress forward. So in this situation, quote unquote progress being defined as 18 and a half cents. Once again, I'm well aware that if you are some sort of scalper or day trader and you bought up there, you definitely don't care about these stair steps. But that's why I try to offer up a warning that I would be commenting from the bigger picture point of view. So sure, today the price pulled back, but stop and think about that word today, as in one day, looking at multiple days, which is what we're doing here. You can see the price does still have plenty of opportunity to chip away and build a higher base. So let's see if the Bulls can get that job done or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.